Hi, this is Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. I am here at Upgraded Life Festival in Helsinki, and joining me right now, I have Noel Roy. Um, he is with a company called Whole Musk. But before we get to that, all right, he introduced himself to me as the lone representative from Singapore here, and That's so we're right. gonna pick his brain about some rumors that we're, we're picking up here at Upgraded Life about Singapore. So apparently, among the, the community here in the Nordics, they view Singapore as the gateway to the Asian market. And Do you agree? Cool. Yeah, you agree? That's Why cool. is that? Uh, Singapore is an amazing place. It mm -hmm. gives you access to three large markets. One is the Southeast Asia. So you have Malaysia, Indonesia, Taiwan, all of that in true come. Then you have India, as well as you have China. Okay. So the answer becomes that if you want to operate in a single market, then you go to that country. Okay. But if you want to operate in multi-market, then Singapore is an amazing place. <laughs> and the speed to do business, mm -hmm. the talent, the capital, all of that is ultimate. So Singapore is literally the hub to Asia. Okay, I myself am Indian by birth, American by citizenship, but I live in Singapore and operate from there. <laughs> I love that. You've got it all figured out. You've got it all figured out. I'm not sure about out. that, but I'm <laughs> very proud of and literally what we have built in the last three years, mm -hmm. it was only possible in Singapore. Okay, so talk to me about that. So you guys, you're whole Musk. Yes. And so what do you do and what have you built in Singapore? Because you're deployed there, correct? Yes. Okay. So we operate both in Singapore and US. Mm -hmm. Okay, Singapore is where we have started. But at the same time, we are building in the U.S. in parallel. Okay. You know, and the very next market that we want to go very aggressively is China and India. Okay? But as of now, what we have built is a fully developed disease management program okay. and a chronic disease platform. So it has two components. One component is a digital health platform on the front end, and the back end is a heavy-duty data analytics platform. Okay? So we work with patients directly on the front end, but at the same time, we use the data to work with pharma companies and the clinical trial companies. Very cool. In the drug discovery process. And you had said to me that you're focused first on diabetes, but that the platform is also being used in mental health, and yes. you can really pretty much put whatever you want on top of it, now yes. that the platform is built. So what are you finding in diabetes? Like, Talk to me about some of the things that a patient can experience as they're using your application. Sure. So in the diabetes, what we find is uh, diabetes is a data problem and diabetes is a lonely problem. Okay? That's true. And hence, anything that you can build to engage with the patient, you know, and help them, guide them, micro-nudge them, mm -hmm. is where it becomes powerful. Okay. Okay? As of now, a typical patient has access to a doctor for five or ten minutes every six months. Okay? The idea is how do we really enhance that engagement so that the person can ask and be guided on a continuous basis where is the biggest value that gets added. Okay. And this can be done at a much earlier stage. When a person is at pre-diabetic level, at the early diabetic level, they don't have to wait till it becomes very chronic and get the attention of the doctor. Okay. So that's the way we function. So now is that true too also of this health system in Singapore that people really have such limited contact with the doctor? Because they know we so, complain about that in the US, but I mean, tell me a little bit about that health system. So the idea is even in Singapore, which is such a successful healthcare system, okay and it has a very advanced gp system you know and it's a universal healthcare system but even then it's amazing that if you count the number of patients versus the number of doctors mm -hmm. you know that ratio is very large right. so so i'll give you an example singapore has a 5 million population in which a million is diabetic and pre diabetic oh wow if you count every person that goes to a doctor from gp to advanced care that's around 150000 people you have 850,000 people, which is still untouched, <laughs> you know, true. and they are not doing anything for the disease for the, you know, the first 10 to 15 years of the life. Right. What we are trying to do is how do we really engage with them as early as possible at the pre-diabetic level, mm -hmm. many times even at a school level, you know, and literally engage them to reverse the disease or manage the disease in a meaningful manner. So with Whole Musk, I, you said you're, you're not only in Singapore, but you're also in the U.S. Yes. And you're here in Europe as well. Yes. So how is it, from a startup perspective, I mean, you've managed to build something that you, you're scaling internationally and you're doing it well. Yes. What's your advice for other startups in a similar position? What kind of, what kind of mindset do you need? Or does it just all come down to capital? What does it come down to? Uh, mindset is the most important thing because most startups want to stay in their comfort zone, you know? In the area where they are, they raise the capital from there as well as they try to solve one problem. Mm -hmm. We have been building this company global first. From day one, I have been operating at a global scale and want to build a global business. Okay. Because the way I think is, diabetic is a diabetic is a diabetic and they are everywhere. Okay, and hence we want to take everything, the infrastructurally, the way we are designing it, and the mindset and the management and the team, everything that we are putting together, you know, literally at a global scale. You know, having said that, we have chosen Asia and US as a key target market. Yeah. We are still not in 
Africa, we are not in South America, you know, but these two are the main markets that we have been operating. Okay, and provide everybody with a little bit of insight um, from on Whole Musk as a business. So, yes. I mean, you're operating globally, but like where are you at as far as you're a startup? You've been around for three years, you said. Yes. So, what are you doing now? How are you scaling? So, we have gone from, uh, you know, zero percent to 45 percent team. Okay, we have raised around uh, nine million so far in the okay. last three years' time. And uh, the idea is how do we really build a meaningfully large company, you know? The goal is to become a highly sustainable, fully developed chronic disease platform at a tier one level. Okay. okay. And that means in the next three to five years time, we will spend close to 100 to $150 million to build this company. And that's the goal. Fantastic. Well, good luck to you. Thank, you. Thank you so much for giving us your insight on you. Singapore here at this European conference. We appreciate Thank that. You very much. <laughs> and I appreciate what you're doing. This is extremely, extremely, you know, useful. And for many thank entrepreneurs you. out there, it's going to be very meaningful to understand. I that. hope so. I want yes. everybody to meet everybody else. Yes. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. This is Jessica Damasa with WTF Health.